Oh, I won't lie. Okay. Okay, welcome to Fabric Chicks Live at noon on Mondays. Um, you know, it's right before a show, so we're frazzled like usual. Um, let me pull you up here. Uh so I can read your comments because you know Devin's not gonna read them to me. Um so anyways, uh oh, who is that that's live on here first? Who type in who you are, who got who who came on? Oh, Peggy. Peggy, I have a free pattern for you if I can find it. All right, Peggy. You know, I always like it when you guys are on time to class. Um, Peggy has a Peggy has a box here somewhere. Can you see it? Um, right there. Oh, the one that says Kathleen Raider. Uh, you know, I don't know how things get mixed up around here. Anyhow, um, so today we are getting ready. We're packing, tearing the shop apart, getting ready for um, Pacific International Quilt Festival. So if you are anywhere in the Bay Area and you've never been there, you're going to want to go. Um, it's one of the biggest quilt um, shows on the West Coast um, next to uh, Road to California, which is in January in Ontario. So um, so this week we'll be leaving tomorrow. Um, tomorrow evening we'll be leaving and driving over the mountain um, to Santa Clara and it's at the, it's held at the Santa Clara convention center, um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. To, it's open to the general public Wednesday night or Wednesday evening. It's open to those, I believe that are signed up for classes or signed up for events. Um, you, you know, if you're one of those who can come in on Wednesday, otherwise, um, plan on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, Santa Clara Convention Center. Um, but today we're going to show you, um, wait, hang on. Let's see who's watching. Um, hey, Carolyn. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Beverly Ann. Um, oh, Carolyn says, hi, Devin. Carolyn, we're really trying to be consistent, except for that we are completely inconsistently consistent. Um, because it's hard when we're at shows and all that good stuff. And yesterday I totally forgot um, the Zoom, except for that I was at Gracie's volleyball tournament and Christy is celebrating her anniversary um, in Paso Robles. So we weren't, we weren't here anyways. Um, I know we're total slackers. Um, hi, Rosie. Thank you, Cindy. Um, I hope you're feeling good enough to go, um, to go down there. I'm sure you could find somebody to pick you up. Like uh, Joanne Garbarini could pick you up and take you down there because um, you both probably wouldn't want to stay all day. So you could at least go and have a good time. Um, Peggy, I will see you this week at PIQF. Hi, Judy. Hi, Kathy. Um, oh, Carolyn's going to miss us at PIQF, but some of her friends will be there and they'll make a... Oh, she's going to miss us at PIQF because she's coming... I think that's the same time she's going to be up here um, at Tahoe um, Zephyr Point Conference Center quilting, quilting, quilting. Um, but her and her friends will make a trip over the hill to the shop. So that's good. Hi, Diana. Hi, Ann. Hey, Ann. Let me know. I have a box here for you. Um, I think that you already got this at the show. But for some reason, I have a bag with your name on it. And it has the tree number four diamond art and the Americana diamond art. So if you want either of those um, still, if you didn't get them at the show we were at, let me know. Otherwise I will, I can ship them to you if you want. I'm not sure. Um, pretty much Dorothy, I've been up every night till like one o'clock or two o'clock folding fabric so that it's ready to go. Um, uh, Carolyn, I'm glad somebody's keeping track of my schedule because I feel like we just run around like chickens with our heads cut off. I know. Good visual. Good visual. Hope you're not eating lunch right now. Um, oh, Carolyn, this is a good idea. Um, Peggy made uh, the little folded, five-inch folded um, mug rugs, and she gave them out to everybody at the retreat she was just at. So I'm pretty sure you've got plenty of time and no other projects on your to-do list. You could whip out a bunch of those five inch mug rugs. And I think, I don't know if Lynn is on. Okay, Ann, I'll, I'll put those.
those back out for sale. Um, I don't know if um, uh, Lynn Whitdell's on, but she missed the five inch folded coasters. So I told her to watch again. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick, okay? Because everybody should be making a ton of these for gifts. Um, if you are you belong to Fabric Chick Stitch Along, which is a Facebook um, group page, which anybody can join. Well, not anybody. We do kind of um, exclude the creepy people, but you know, the really creepy people that just come on to, I don't know, sell us things like inappropriate things. Those people we try to weed out, but everybody else is more than welcome. And it's just kind of like a show and tell, or if you have questions, you can answer. It's right on the side of our Facebook page. Poor Devin's got allergies and he forgot a tissue. Uh, so, um, so anyways, the five inch folded fabric coaster, super easy. You can um, whip these out. You could do them holiday themed, give them as hostess gifts, give them to your girlfriend when you meet her for coffee, whatever. Um, you can also make placemat or um, you could do placemats with them. Or you could do um, uh, hot pads. So the options are pretty limitless of what you want to do with them. And it's a great way to use up your scraps and your leftover stuff. So all you're going to need is a five inch piece of batting. So we all know we've got leftover battings at the end of our quilts. So cut them into five inches or 10 inches um, for five inches for coasters, 10 inches for pot holders. And then you need a five inch piece of fabric. So that is going to go right here on your batting. It's actually going to be right side up on your batting. Okay, here, let's see. We got seven different things to demo today because we haven't demoed in a long time. Okay, so you're going to leave your, lay your five inch piece of fabric on top of your batting. And then you're going to have four other pieces of five inch fabrics. So on the blue polka dot, I cut three of them. And then I iron two of them in half. I'm going to lay one down right on top there. Um, and then I've got two that contrast or coordinate, whichever you prefer to say. And the folded edge is on the inside. The raw edge is going to line up with your batting and your five inch square um, piece. Then I'm going to lay this on top. I'm going to lay this one on top. And I'm gonna lay this one, and thanks to Carolyn Gavernich, who corrected me last time because I was doing it kind of in a hurry, this one gets folded underneath. So it's gonna look like that. You're gonna stitch a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch. You just wanna make sure you catch it. It's not really, um, it's not really a big deal how, how big your seam is. I would probably do a quarter inch just because that's what we're trained to do. And you know, it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. So you're gonna sew all the way around it, a complete circle around your entire um, project. And then you're gonna turn it from this center. So it's open in the center. So this is what it's gonna look like. Um, thank goodness Leilani left me a finished one. And thank you to Leilani, because a lot of us knew this little project, but we've forgotten it. And it, everything comes back again. So here it is. You're going to just unfold it from the center. So what you're gonna do, here's your batting, here's your four fabrics. You've got your five inch whole fabric in the background and you're gonna sew here. She actually, Leilani actually clipped the edges so it wouldn't be too bulky. And so she sewed all the way around the entire project and then flipped it inside out. And then Diana Hensley posted on Fabric Chick Stitch Along that they're perfect for um, wine glasses. So you know whose glass is whose. So if you make a bunch of different ones for when you have a party, you can put these on the bottom. You just slip your wine glass into the center. So that's a kind of a fun, quick, like literally you could finish a bunch of these in an afternoon. You could have enough for your whole sewing guild or retreat group or whatnot. So I'm just going to push out the edges. Usually I would push out the edges with my turn it all tool, but you know, it would take me far too long to find that. So see how that meets together there nicely. You could top stitch it if you wanted a nicer, uh, more finished edge, um, but then you wouldn't be able to slip your wine glass in there. So it just kind of depends on what your project's for. Okay, Lynn. I hope you're watching so I don't have to demo that for the 88th time like I did the um, 60 degree ruler. 
but I will if you guys need me to. Um, okay, let's see. Hi, Christy Lee. Um, how was your anniversary? Um, just don't forget. Uh, oh, Carolyn, thank gosh you're watching out for me because uh, I could. Um, Carolyn says she thought about making them for her retreat group, but she's already made something else. Okay. Um, all right. I know. Carolyn, I totally forgot about it when I demoed it last Wednesday. Okay, so then the second thing I'm gonna demo today real quick is we've got these cute little wool felt balls, Halloween balls in. I still need to do a hanging cord of some sort because I think I'm gonna hang them on a tree, you know, spray paint a tree or something glittery or something, you know me. Um, so look at how cute those are. And this stitching, um, Vicki from Workman Farms and Fallon, she did it for me in the hotel room when we were in LA. So we've got um, several balls here. And then we also have, here you go. So if you don't have anything ready to go and you need a grab and go project, this is perfect for that because everything was in it except for the, we had to go steal um, some wood off of somebody's tree. I think actually Vicki found it in the dumpster at the fairgrounds. Um, but, and then we had to get some polyfill. So you will need polyfill. They have some super cute egg ones for Easter. Um, these ones would be cute on an egg tree or even in as a bowl filler because bowl fillers are real popular right now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that um, the embroidery, she just whip stitched around it so it went together really fast. And then she just added some French knots here. The eyes aren't even sewn down except for with the French knot right in the center. So they're kind of dimensional. You can kind of wiggle them around. And then you're gonna take two of your pieces and you're gonna sew them together from um, a half an inch down to the bottom. And then you're gonna take the other two, so it's four, and then you're gonna sew it from here down to here. Um, and it says in the directions, cause you need to leave a little bit, you're gonna stuff it from the top. Um, and then I'm just gonna sew around it so it's super, super easy, girls. Anybody could do this. Um, if if me and Vicky could do it in a hotel room in the ghetto, you could for surely do it. Um, we did it like in between gunshots. No, we didn't actually hear gunshots, but the ambulance and the police were in the parking lot every night. Um, and then we're just gonna lay this. I'm gonna just separate this because I don't want it to be too big of a mess down at the bottom. Okay, so I'm just sewing at a quarter of an inch and I'm hoping that everything gets caught in there. I'm just going to move this around a little bit. I know girls, you're going to be disappointed. I haven't even opened the new sewing machine yet because I have not been home long enough. Oops. Um, I haven't been home long enough, so it's still sitting in a box, but I don't really feel too bad because Christy hasn't opened hers yet either. Okay. And I'm going to stop kind of not too far up only because I know that Vicki had to rip it a little bit to get it turned inside out. So you could clip the edges if you wanted. I might have to rip it a little bit because I might have made that too small. Um, okay. I'm turning it inside out. Turning, turning, turning. You got any comments, Devin? I don't know. Oh my goodness. I sometimes I don't know why Roger doesn't show up in time to film because Devin's heart really just isn't in it. He just shows up for the paycheck. He's not really I don't even get a paycheck. Oh, that's true. I haven't remembered to pay them in like, I don't know, two pay periods. It's sitting on my to-do list on my desk. I'm pretty sure it's about to be three. It is about to be. I think it is another payday. It's a good thing you're not like a real person because you could file some kind of workman comp against me or something. Karen's a real person. I know, but Karen doesn't even deposit her checks for months at a time. So she doesn't even know that she hasn't been paid. Um. Okay. All right. So see how cute that ball is there? See it? So then I'm just going to take this polyfill. I want... Um, polyfill by Fairfield. If you don't have it, you should go. Um, I hate to say this, but polyfill by Fairfield is the best because it doesn't lump up as much. So you should, I really, really, really hate to say this, 
but you should go and get it at Walmart. Um, they have the best price because the polyfill is so big and bulky. If I order it for you girls, then the shipping is crazy. So everybody can go to Walmart and get it. I'm, but only get that there. Okay. So just depending on how um, stuffed you want it. And I might, if I was going to make these over again, I might bring the design up a little bit because it kind of gets lost under there. So I might bring up the design just a hair. But once it's hanging on a tree, you'll be able to see everything. But if you were to put it on the table, you would not. Um, and then you're just going to stuff it till it's as full as you want it. I, it doesn't necessarily have to be too stuffed because um, you still want to be able to close the top. Um, and then, so that's super, look at how quick that was girls. Look at how quick that was. And then you're just going to use, look at, this is all of our leftover scraps. I wonder what Vicki was going to make out of this one there. Oh, there's some, look at, there's some flowers in here. So she had something planned and then we probably ran out of time, but so you're going to just whip stitch this closed. Um, you're going to want to stuff your stick into it. I'm pretty sure that, see, this stick is not real secure. You could just pull it out if you wanted. So, um, so find a stick, stick that in. And then she just made up some leaves and top stitched them on. So that is the felted eggs. Let me find my phone because Devin's not reading your comments to me. And, you know, we might have a drawing, so you might want to, um, you might want to comment because you know Devin scrolls pretty fast. Um, okay, oh, no comments. They all got that one. Okay, so then the second thing I'm going to demo real quick, which you guys always um, forget, but you shouldn't forget because this is the best knot ever. So I've got my Glamour thread here, which I love. It's a 12 weight. It's actually a regular thread with a metallic thread wrapped around it. So. Um, when they, when they create it, they do it all in one step. So it's basically one strand of thread, but it's kind of the same weight as your three strands of embroidery floss, I think. Peggy, Cato, correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm gonna just take my thread like this. I'm gonna put it right here on my finger. I'm gonna wrap it around three times and I'm gonna push the needle through. And then there is the perfect knot. Okay, for I think those you might have to do that again slower. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time for those of you who weren't really paying attention or if Devin was moving the iPad. Okay, so I've got my thread right here. And then I'm gonna take my needle, I'm gonna wrap it around three times. Okay. Then I'm gonna squeeze it between my other two fingers. I'm gonna push my needle up, and there is the perfect knot. It's the perfect knot every time, okay? Um, if you need me to show you it again, let me know. And then I'm going to just take this here. So this is a panel that we have. And I just took the SF101, um, which is a stabilizer that fuses on. I just fused it to the back so that, one, my threads won't show through to the front. And so that it um, doesn't, uh, the tension on the fabric isn't crazy so that it stretches or warps the fabric. I know there's another word for that, but I can't think of it. Oh my gosh, I wish he would get a Kleenex. Okay, so I'm just going to do a back stitch here for the, oh my goodness, he just wiped his nose on my shirt. Teenage boys. Okay, so here it is. This is called the back stitch. And I am going to just stitch that like that. Okay, if you have questions or you want to see that again, and I don't hoop anything because I just don't like hoops. Um, but you might try it with a hoop and without a hoop and decide what you like best. I think that I just learned without a hoop when I was like, I don't know, seven years old. So I don't use the hoop. So that is going to be my back stitch, I think. Peggy will correct me if I'm calling it the wrong thing, but I think it's a back stitch. So here is what it looks like on a... Um, one that I've already done. And then I did French knots there. So I don't know if you guys can see that it's glittery. I don't know if Devin's in the very good lighting or position. Stop moving. Your head is up. Your head is where the light is. Okay. 
See that? Can you see it's glittery? So that's kind of a fun thread. And then here's part of the panel that I've already stitched. Right here, I use kind of a shiny embroidery floss. And then here, I use just one strand of a 12 weight um, variegated thread by, by Wonderfield. It's the same one I use for pine needles when I do thread painting. And then here, I used a uh, Aurifil wool thread. So it's kind of fun to use all the different threads in your collection. Um, but I am really, really loving the Glamour 12 weight. This also will run, it's a uh, in your sewing machine. Um, you just want to get a bigger eye needle like a 14. Um, and then let's see, I'm going to read my comments because I know Devin is not reading comments. Um, oh yeah. Is there any comments on yours? Yes. There's no comments on mine. Okay, wait, I'm going to log out girls because I have no comments. Um, Wait a minute, I'm gonna log back in real quick. Don't go anywhere. Um, thank you, Peggy. I know they're kind of cute little pumpkins, huh? Um, Kathleen, just let me know what thread you want of the Glamour. We do have it in different, um, like pretty much, I think we have every color. Um, and then they also have Christmas collections that they are just coming out with, but we haven't gotten them yet. Um, Christy, I know glitter makes everything happy. Um, yes, yes, girls, yes. Um, for all of you, um, usually, not always, but usually I try to demo stuff that we carry. So we do have the Glamour thread um, by Wonderfill. And then there's also another one that's an eight weight that's even more metallic-y and thicker, but that one you have to couch on. Um, I don't, we do a thread class. It might be time to do another thread class so you guys can try all the different weight threads. Um, okay, so, um, yes. Okay, girls, let's go on a field trip and find the different colors. Um, I may need Devin to run. Um, let's see. You would think we would put them all in one place, but that would be too complicated. Here's the Glamour, which is, um, a 12 weight. Oh, wait, I think this is it. Don't start me lying, but I think this is it. So I think I have those two collections. Um, but where's the, oh, it's the bedazzled that's thicker. Um, so I have those two collections and... We like to spread the thread all over. Um, we have these collections, which are just metallics. Um, we have these fun collections. I know it's, I feel like I kind of need to do a Friday sale right now. Um, so we have all these metallics here. Oops. Um, I don't know how everything gets on the floor, on the ground. Um, okay, I'm looking. It might be that this is all of the, um, here is a flat um, hologram thread that is also glittery by Wonderfill. So Wonderfill just has a ton of fabulous threads. Oh, here's some more glamor. So we've got those, I think those are the same two collections I already showed you. But I do have two boxes of them if you girls want them. So that's that. That might be all we have. It's super hard to keep track of the inventory because we have done so many back-to-back -back shows. Like literally, I think we're on our ninth show since May. Um, and it used to be that Cheryl stayed home. Oh, here's a Christmas glamour one. It used to be Cheryl, or not Cheryl, but when the girl, when we would go to the shows, the girls would stay home and kind of do inventory. Um, but we don't have that luxury anymore because it's just us. So I think that's it. I'm not saying anymore. Oh, can I just sneak in here? Oh, you certainly know. Look at the collection. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Here's a lavender one. Here's a red one. Um, here's a orange one, a purple one. That purple one is really, really pretty. So they're ten ninety five a piece. Um, there's a limey green one and a bunch more red ones. Um, so that's what we have in the store, but we can order whatever color you want. And then, um, and then we do have these panels still also, if you're interested in the embroidering those panels. I think Peggy already did it. Peggy, what did you do for your project with that? Um, here's just a few of them. I just cut them apart. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. I don't know if I'm going to turn them into, um, these ones I think would be a fun Christmas banner. But the bigger ones, uh, they might be cute pillows. I don't know. You're not going to want to. Um, and then here's another one from there. You're not going to want to uh, turn them into like placemats or anything because you don't want to eat off of all your hand embroidery. So I'm not sure what. Probably little wall hangings and pillows. Um, yes, girls. Okay, I will go back and rewatch this so I can see who wants what threads. Um, and, uh, oh, look at this. So um, Tammy is here and she is cutting all this new fabric that just came in. Uh, this one goes to a different collection, but those are kind of fun sunglasses. But look at these. Aren't those delicious? So fun. More art gallery fabrics. Um, they just keep coming in. So those are fun. We'll put those on Friday sale when Friday happens. And look at my poor chicken. Somebody ripped off his legs. I have to do some emergency surgery. So sad. So sad. Um, okay. Some of the smaller ones could be put on cards. Oh, yeah. That would be cute, Dorothy, to use these smaller ones and make Christmas cards. That would be super cute. Are you pointing to here where I'm pointing? These smaller ones would be cute on Christmas cards for sure. Um, so if you love any of the fabric I've been posting, make sure and order some. That's true. Uh, so Christy Lee's telling you girls that she's been posting, um, the new stuff as it comes in on Facebook and YouTube. So if you want any of that, make sure that you, um, let me know before I go, or even if I'm on the road and she posts something, you can let me know because I can pull it aside and, and bring it home for you. But like the pumpkin that was in the tr uh the skeleton that was in the truck that panel i think is gone um so it came in and we had it for like a week but most of you girls got it um okay all right can you um and that is my mission so we're everybody's looking for angelina nobody can figure out where to buy angelina anymore Be um i know that at one point uh, they asked if I would buy the company, but that is like way too much for me to, I would be spread so crazy, but I think the husband was having health issues. And so I'm not sure if somebody else bought the company or not. So at PIQF, um, they were a West coast store. So at PIQF, I will ask, um, I'll ask around and see if anybody is still able to access it or who owns it now. Yes, Kathleen, all of those embroideries here, let's. Bless you. Um, let me get the panel so you can see what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> okay, here's what the panel looks like. And remember we showed you the um, snowman Christmas book, but not sewn up. Karen sewed it up real quick. Okay, here's what the panel looks like. So you got several big ones, quite a few small ones, and the panel is $14.98. So if you want the panel, put that in the notes. For those of you who are new to watching, um, if you just comment, we put together baskets for you every time we demo, because I know you can't live without all this good stuff. 
Um, here's the Christmas book that Karen just finished sewing. So we did show you this on last Friday's celebration, but in case you didn't order it, you might want to because it's so cute. So this snowman needs a face because he has no face. And then this snowman needs a sweater because he has no sweater. He's naked. Um, this snowman needs mittens. So he's got mittens that Velcro on and off. And this snowman needs a friend. So now he's got little bird friends. And then this one, now you can build, make your own snowman with all of his mittens and all of his buddies and everything. And back here is a little pocket for a bunch more stuff so that he can change the, um, he can change the sweater, he can change the mittens, he can change all that fun stuff. So that was the book that we showed you the other day that we didn't have finished. Um, okay, what else? Um, I, they might have it still on Amazon. I think that some companies um, have Angelina that's been like sitting on a shelf. Um, Cause I know we, when you guys got all excited about it, I found a big bag of it upstairs, but then it's gone. Um, bright yellow gold thread. And, and, and bright yellow gold. Do you want it to be 12 weight or, um, that's not real bright. That's kind of a mellow yellow. Um, I've got pumpkin color and we've got yellow D twist. It's like a yellow, kind of a yellow and white, maybe twisted. Um, I have this Orifil variegated. Um, let's see. Here's a bright yellow. That one's super bright. Or this one's a Silco. So this one has absolutely no lint on it um it's kind of looks more vintagey um so probably i would think you would want this one i'm not sure let me know ann and i think that's it um let's see. oh i've got a bucket of threads over here now we're on a wild goose chase um, that yellow right there, but I think that's the same yellow I showed you, uh, or it might be a little bit different. So let me know, Ann. All right. Do you girls have any other questions? We won't, we will not be doing anything this Friday because hopefully we are so busy at PIQF. Um, but we will be doing a surprise visit to Wild Wednesday Live. So if you are not already, um, joined on the Facebook page for Wild Wednesday Live. It's sponsored by the um, Sew Quilt Craft Festival. Um, so just Google in the toolbar or the search bar, um, Wild Wednesday Live. And we interview three other vendors. Um, Raylene and I, we interview three other vendors every Wednesday at two. Um, but when we're at a show, we still interview on Thursday and Friday and Wednesday we do a behind the scenes because that's just how it works out with us setting up for our shows and stuff. But this this Wednesday, I'm not sure who Raylene is interviewing, but I think we're gonna do a sneak surprise and show you our booth at PIQF. Um, and then we'll do some surprise tours around the show, show you the quilts and that kind of thing as we have time. So if you have any questions or if you need anything, you can always call us, 775-267-0204. Oh, look, we didn't, Devin, you didn't change our names. It still looks like Leilani and Christy are there. And you didn't push the button for our, our info to scroll across. Sorry, girls, we're not really professionals. We're just here to have a good time and keep you entertained. Um, but we're looking for help. So if any of you girls wanna come and help us, we're always open for that. Um, all right, so we will, um, Diana, the thread is everywhere. There is no nice organization of thread. We used to, oh, look at here. Here's all of the D-twists. And for those of you who are D-twist lovers, um, we have 
they have a bunch of new colors that are coming out. So that's um, in our in our cart, ready to ship to us. I know, Kathleen, it's kind of like a mad mess here. I mean, look at this. This is silks that you can use. Um, super fun, five yard skeins of silks. We have all kinds of treasures in the shop. We don't even know what we have anymore at this point. Um, so we used to have, and we have it out in the shed. We have a huge like door that is a thread stand, um, but it's so hard. It takes up too much space and um, it just gets in my way. So we got rid of that out in the shed and now we just have thread all over the shop. It's kind of like Costco. You have to look to find it because we're always moving it. Um, and Linda Meyer, you can just come up and visit. You can park your motorhome in the parking lot and then you can come in and help us get organized. That would be so fabulous. Um, it, Dorothy, I think you could be in here for hours, hours. Um, we have lots of ladies whose husbands drop them off here and then they go out dirt bike riding or they go to the bar or they go wherever. Cause really you could, if you wanted to really look, you could find more things than you know. Of. Um, we'll see you. We'll see you soon though, Dorothy. We'll do something or you'll, you'll want to take the kids to Tahoe or something. Um, we'll see. I, I'm pretty sure someday we will meet you. Hopefully you're at the shop so you can have a good shopping experience. Um, Rondi, are you going to PIQF? Let me know if you're going to PIQF and I, Devin will pack it into one of the buckets. So you're back. Make sure to go to the show. Um, Who was that? Um, Rondi Reeves. Uh, Marilyn, I'm going to take you up on that. Um, no, I think that we're looking, um, not right at the second, but my plan is to do a really fun kind of UFO -y retreat where everybody just can come. Um, I know Zephyr Point at Tahoe, they've increased, they've raised their rates. Um, since COVID started, their rates have gone up, I think $200, which is kind of a lot. So I need to call up there and see what's what's going on because I they've got new management but that's where we used to do our retreats and we used to have a blast um but one of these days we'll organize a retreat up somewhere and uh get together and and sew and do all kinds of fun things all right girls that's all I've got for today I will see you uh Wednesday at two sometime during the two o'clock um program we'll be showing you a, a behind the scenes at PIQF all right. Have a great day. Go sew. Go sew.